Well, I just saw this movie the first time myself just now with you, and I just think it's absolutely amazing. I mean, I think yeah, really. Yeah. So I wasn't sure whether to. I'm glad I got to see it on the bigger screen and 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 have spontaneous questions rather than well thought out questions. But um, <laughs> I guess. The first thing I would like to ask is, uh, briefly, what made you want to make the movie about Bernstein, and then what, with all of his life to choose from, how did you fix on the love story, and then how did you structure, how do you think you, what would you, what, how would you describe your first challenges structuring the story in the script phase? Um, well, first of all, uh, thank you for being here. It's a great room. Um, and thanks, Kenny, for doing this. Um, Things that, uh, in order to have like a furnace inside of you, and this thing took like six years from beginning to end, there has to be something that it's, uh, it's almost hard to articulate. And for me, that thing was I knew since I was a child that I was I was always obsessed with conducting. From Tom and, if I were gonna, it's like Tom and Jerry and Bugs Bunny <laughs> when I was a kid and asking Santa Claus for a baton when I was like seven or eight. And then just spending hundreds of hours conducting, and I, there was something about the power or the seeming power of just moving my hand and music. Would come. So I just loved pretending that I was conducting, and I spent way more time than I should have doing it, which speaks to my childhood. But um, and and so that was always in me. And you know, I remember in grad school, Ellen Burstyn did a workshop, and we had to come up with a character to write a monologue for, and I wrote about a conductor. And so it was always sort of very deep inside me. And then there was a project around, and, and Steven Spielberg knew that I had this obsession and um, said, would you look at it? Maybe I'm thinking about doing it. Would you maybe think about playing Leonard Bernstein, who I didn't know much about at all, other than sort of the images that I sort of grew up with. You know, he was always sort of in the air. Uh, but I didn't know anything really about him. I always loved classical music, but, uh, but didn't, it was odd that I didn't really know anything about him. Um, and then, and then, it, and then it was. I just finished *A Star Is Born*, and which I had written, written and directed. And I just, I was like, I felt like that's really. I never gave myself permission to dream that big, but that is actually what I wanted to do as a kid, uh, from the movies that I had seen. And so I said to him, "Look, I have this huge furnace for 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 conducting. Um, it, you're not going to direct it." But she said, "You know, probably not. Would you let me um, just?" Did dive in and just research about this guy and see if there's a story that I think that I can tell. Um, and then that was the beginning. And I just did a ton of great. Josh Singer, uh, who wrote the script that Stephen was going to do, I asked him, Would you come along with me and we'll just start from the beginning? And if you want to do, maybe just dive in, you know, the deep end of the pool from the beginning and let's see. And I got to interview 40 people, 41 people that knew him. Uh, there's tons, he's one of the most videoed and photographed uh, musicians ever. Um, and the children gave us so much, uh, Jamie, Nina, Nina, and Alex gave us so much uh, a wealth of material from these audio tapes to home videos. And I just started immersing myself. And this thing that started to percolate that I felt very uh, intoxicated by was the, these people and the way they spoke and the, the melody with which he speaks, the music of it all. And their relationship is very unorthodox, seemingly unorthodox relationship between Felicia and Lenny. I was really sort of blown away by Felicia and just her whole whole character. And then the children were just so articulate, and and it was inspiring and haunting and and mischievous and funny. It just had everything. And I thought, this is the fucking movie. This, this is something to explore. And if I could. If I could explore this, then there's a chance that all of you may connect with something in the movie, because that's all I really want to ever do is make something that's relatable that you would never think would be relatable. Then when you realize it's relatable, we're all more connected and hopefully healed. That's what movies did to me and still do to me to this day. And and that was it. And so 